Now, there is there are a lot of wisdom when it comes to why a Muslim have to give zakah, and the, the scholars have accumulated some of these wisdom for us. Number one, tathirul mal. When someone pays zakah, is as if he is purifying his wealth, purifying his wealth and making a and, and making his wealth a blessing, you know, and as if you are glorifying all the the filth or all the 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 things that are unclean in your wealth. So the way you do that is what by paying zakah. Okay, so that's the number one wisdom. Also, tathiru al muzakki, tathiru al muzakki. That when someone when someone pays zakah, you are purifying yourself as an individual. What are you purifying yourself from? You're purifying yourself from from being cheap, from being stingy, from being from from cleansing yourself from sins. Uh, and also, you are training yourself to give. You're training yourself to give. So that's the second wisdom behind zakah. The third wisdom, muasat al-faqir. That this is the way you are trying to be, uh, 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 make the poor people feel nice, feel better. You know, and that's the that's the beauty of Islam, is it makes it obligation among an individual, not uh, voluntarily like in other religions. It's an obligation that make us that make us uh, uh, want to feel for the poor, see the, you know, and and try to help them and put a smile in their face. You know, and the fourth wisdom, and this is a beautiful wisdom, here, uh, التكافل والتعاون والمحبة. This is the way you you know unify the community you know and this is the way you build bridges among the members of the community is that i helped my brother and my brother helped me and this household helped his neighbor and the neighbor helped help 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 his other neighbor and this is what happened this create brotherhood and sisterhood and people would bond with each other you know and this is the way you would you would it's not just everybody's isolated and everybody is living in their own bubble no we live as one body we live as one community. We stand with each other. If I, my brother, if my brother is feeling pain, I feel his pain. And if I am feeling pain, my brother feels the pain, you know, and etc. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Wallahi la yu'min. He, he's neither not a believer. That what? That the one who sleeps and his neighborhood is hungry. And his neighbor is hungry. SubhanAllah. And that shows you what? The way Islam calls for unity and, and bonding among the members of the community and that's a beautiful idea if you think about brothers and sisters the fifth wisdom behind behind zakah is is that when you are doing it when you do it is as you as if you are thanking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what you are for, for what he have given you allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have blessed us with so many blessings يعني, Allah, and, and, and if you count the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given you, you would not be able to, to count all of them. So the way you do it is what? By by um by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by showing your showing that you are thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by donating, you know, and 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 and, and obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of helping others. Okay, and that's the least that we could do with يعني with zakah and, and, and subhanallah يعني, يعني Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said zakah تطفئ غضب الرب that when you are that when you're paying zakah you are as if you're extinguishing the يعني the, 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 the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's true when you donate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be happy with you you're not putting money in it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not need our money but you, you are being merciful and being gentle and and uh, and the other servants of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and the sixth wisdom, the sixth wisdom b- behind zakah, is that what it shows that you are a true believer. It shows show that you are that 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 money is for you is not uh, is not something uh, that 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 the, the reason why you exist as some people would look at it. Yes, it's something important. Yes, no one can live without money, but it's something that is beyond beyond. The reason why you exist, you know, in which that show, it shows you that you are a believer, that you care, and you are you are you obeying the orders of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Okay, and the seventh reason, the seventh wisdom behind zakah, it shows that, yeah, it's one of the ways 
that you would are seeking the satisfaction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And indeed, this is like I, I, I did mention that you're not subject to Allah ago, but this is the way you show but this is the way to get to obtain the 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 mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the satisfaction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's the way that you that you would erase the sins that you have. The sins that you have. So brothers and sisters, this is when it comes to what? The wisdom behind zakat. 